There is only one purpose for this video and that is to raise awareness of the early symptoms associated with pancreatic cancer. This is a deadly disease and if there is any chance of a cure then it is that the patients and the clinicians recognize these early symptoms and act on them and do the appropriate tests. Looking at a picture of a pancreas, uh, we can see that it has a head, a neck, a body and a tail anatomically described. It has two tubes traversing it. This is the bile tube uh, and then there's a pancreatic tube that runs throughout uh, the pancreas. It is the leading cause of death around the world um, and it is almost in all countries it is in the top 10. And here is a sobering statistic. Less than one in five patients at the time they present are actually candidates for any attempt at long-term cure that is an operation or surgery to remove the tumor. So let's now look at the symptoms. These are the all important symptoms that I want to take some time um, to pass on to the viewer um, and to propagate weight loss, loss of appetite, abdominal pain, epigastric pain, that is pain in the pit of the stomach, passing dark urine and jaundice, nausea, feeling sickness, back pain, loose stools, vomiting, steatorrhea is a special kind of diarrhea associated with pancreatic disease and I'll explain this a little bit more. And here are the percentages with each of these symptoms and these symptoms may be in any combination. So I'm just going to pause for a bit uh, for the viewer to have another look at these symptoms and I'll explain a little, little bit more about why these come about and why the diagnosis is late. So let's now talk about the pain itself involved with that is associated with pancreatic cancer. It is slow onset and it may last for longer than a month and it is not uncommon for patients to have months and months of this pain. It's a gnawing, deep, visceral type of a pain and it starts in the epigastric area, the pit of the stomach. So let's look at this cartoon now to see where it is. This is the right side, this is the left, this is the groin, and this is the rib cage, this is the belly button. And it is this area uh, at the top where the pain starts. It may shift or radiate to both sides, and typically it may go through to the, through to the back if the cancer is in the body of the pancreas, and I'll talk about that in a little bit more. Now, this pain can be intermittent. It's not there all of the time. It's worse when the patient lies down or eats, especially if the patient eats a high protein diet. It's worse at night. And lying curled up, so-called fetal position, can relieve this pain. It may be associated with severe back pain, and sometimes pancre pancreatic cancer can set off pancreatitis because it obstructs the main pancreatic tube and this is quite a severe type of a pain. Um, and that usually uh, leads the patient to be admitted to the hospital. In this slide, we will examine the causes of the early symptoms of pancreatic cancer. So here's a cartoon drawing of the pancreas with the head of the pancreas, the neck, body, tail, the bile tube and the pancreas tube. Pain is one of the commonest features of pancreatic cancer. Let's just draw a small tumor over here and it will stretch the capsule of the pancreas and give rise to the fairly typical pain in the pit of the stomach in the epigastric area. Cancers in the body of the pancreas tend to give rise to back pain and if the cancers are aggressive and have spread, especially through to the back, then they can involve the nerves at the back and cause severe backache. Jaundice arises when tumors impinge on the bile tube, causing the bile to pool up in the liver and spill over into the blood, and the bile cannot find a pathway through. Uh, the urine becomes quite dark, uh, and the skin becomes yellow, and the whites of the eye become yellow. Diabetes, patients frequently become diabetic as a newly diagnosed condition or those with diabetes will experience worsening of the diabetes of their diabetes and that is because the islets that produce insulin are affected by pancreatic cancer it's it's a common finding uh, in pancreatic cancer the effect of 
the cancer on the diabetes. Why does diarrhea or steatorrhea arise? The tumors frequently block the passage of the pancreatic juice that digests the food and by doing so the food goes undigested giving rise to foul smelling, pale looking um, stool which is associated with a fair bit of wind and it's difficult to flush away and is fatty. Pancreatitis may occur if the pancreatic tube is blocked uh, the rest of the pancreas may suddenly become very inflamed giving rise to pancreatitis which is a sudden onset severe upper abdominal pain. Now let's look at the commonly requested tests that are just not good enough in diagnosing pancreatic cancer. So here is a cartoon outline of the, uh, of the organs within the abdomen including the pancreas. So here is the gullet, the stomach, the small bowel, the liver, the bile tube, pancreas at the back with a small tumor there and the colon over here. So blood tests uh, will not show pancreatic cancer. Even the tumor marker will may indicate it but is not diagnostic. If patients present with pain in the upper abdomen then they may have an upper GI endoscopy performed which is a camera attached to a flexible tube going down through the gullet and examining the stomach uh, as well as the early small bowel before retracting and this will not show the cancer. Uh, equally if the patient has diarrhea as I've described then a colonoscopy may be requested and that is examining the colon with a flexible tube and a camera and this again will not show the cancer. An ultrasound scan is sometimes requested because there is some concern about gallstones. An ultrasound scanner uh, parked over here uh, will send sound waves down. The pancreas is an organ deep in the abdomen and with the overlying bowel. Uh, an ultrasound scan is not usually a good device to assess the pancreas. So what is it that will help? And it is this an early appropriate scan is needed to diagnose pancreatic cancer such as a CT or an MRI scan. So, and I end this topic here in the hope rather than the belief that this has raised some awareness of these deadly symptoms and then motivate you and others to act on your or your loved one's behalf. If you have any comments please do share these. Thank you.